Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? It's Ace Money. And this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for uh, 17th of July. Two games on the slate. Last two games before uh, WNBA break. Got the All-Star game. They got uh, Olympics. I think they take like a month off. It's kind of crazy if you ask me. But uh, do as they please. Uh, first game, it's not any lines out yet. We got Dream vs. the Lynx at uh, 1 o'clock. Lines over double plus nine and a half. Uh, I mean lines from player props. We got lines for the game. Plus nine and a half. It went down a little bit. You can find it at seven and a half. Uh, over on the state, the same, 152 and a half. Dream is on the dog. Uh, if I find any plays for that in the prop section, end up pinning them in the comment section or uh, drop in the community. Then we got a 7 o'clock game. Should be a good game. Fever versus uh, Wings. Dallas Wings. Uh, Fever at a favorite. Minus 4. Stayed the same. Over under 169.5. That did go up. Like 9, 8, 9 points. It's at uh, 177. you find it at. And uh, Fever opened up at 188. Basically stayed the same. 190. 178. Stay the same. Uh, got a few player props. Get into them. Need some money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. All right. Uh, first up, it's not broke. Don't fix it, right? Odyssey Sims points over 15 and a half. Slowly bumping up. Uh, started playing it over here. Right around here, we started playing it. It was at nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven and a half. I think we just played at thirteen and a half. Now it's at fifteen and a half. Now maybe I should back off, but she hasn't shown me any sign to back off. Uh, Indiana is eleventh in points allowed to the guard position. They're ranked twelfth. They're both fast-paced teams, so it'll be a lot of scoring, a lot of assists. Uh, you can go in many ways with her, uh, her assist line. She possibly could go over. She's a good ball distributor. Just went over this. One, two, three, four, five out of the last six. Or uh, I was looking at her threes. I got that at one and a half, plus money, plus 116. Three out of the last four, she went over that. Uh, that's a coin flip, though. She's probably going to go over it, but better chance of uh, hitting these points or the assist. I went with the points. If she could shoot the three. She could, uh, what's her percentages? Shooting 49% from the field, 46% from three, and 67 from uh Foul line. That's the last 10 games. Goes up for the last five. 55% from the field, 52 from three, and 73 from the foul line. So we're going to keep it moving. If all goes well, she can continue to ball out, and we're going to continue to cash it. Right until the wheels fall off. Let's go. All right, next up, I'm going on. Kaylin Clark assists over nine and a half. Uh, 122 Fandle, 130 DraftKings. Dallas is uh, 12th overall in assists. To the guard, it's still 12th. It's last place. Minnesota's are really good against the assists. They like rank one or two. And. I played her assist, and as you know, we didn't catch it. Uh, it was crazy. I was watching the game, and I was like, wow, they really they play crazy defense. And 
and everything. But uh, she should bounce right back. Games before that, she had 13, 13, 13, 11. Uh, we were playing her assists and rebounds. The only problem with that with this game is Dallas is really good at rebounds. So, uh, rank second to the guard position. They get they're like middle of the pack. But I just figured it's probably the safest to go with the assists. Uh, points line is a little high. I mean, it's where it's been. It's like 17 or so. She probably will go over it. I just feel like the assist is the easiest way. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to give it another shot. Keelan Clark, assists over 9.5. I'd like to take a second and ask you if you could like the video. Uh, for my new viewers, please subscribe. Turn the notifications on so you get my plays. Uh, my live bets, anything I do, you get. Uh, for instance, today, I dropped three plays in the community. I also pinned it in the comment section. Uh, catch them all. Um, this way, if I can't get it in the video or I got any other news or something changes, you just get everything I do. I try to be as transparent as possible. Uh, also, if you could comment, likes and comments, help get the video out there, help more people to see them, and subscribe. I'm noticing that I got a lot more people watching than I have subscribed, and uh, I mean, I really do this. I do it every day, as you got to see. All these bets I put out here, these plays, I bet them, and uh, before I started learning how to find out the info for myself, really, I used to tell people as well. I had a couple on YouTube I would look at. And then eventually I started looking at theirs and I met, I, well, I try to find my own plays first and then I look to see what they had and I go back and forth. But uh, I'm putting in the, the legwork. So, I mean, I always advise you to, to use your own judgment, but hit that subscribe button. Come on, let's get it going. All right, appreciate everyone. Feedback. Let me know if you're winning. Come on. I'm cashing bets like crazy. No one else is winning. Let me know. Let me make it, make it feel like this shit is worth it. But uh, that's enough of that. I appreciate everybody. All right, so Leah Boston. We're going back to her. Why not, right? Points over 15 and a half. Uh, 125, 120, DraftKings. Always line shop. You want to get the best odds. Got to have multiple books if you're going to do this. Uh, as well as if you're spending a decent amount of money, alt line it back. Like, for instance, you're betting $200 a play. Grab it at 14 and a half. Pay the juice. It's, you know, if you ever notice, like we hooked a couple today, you're always right on or right off. Or you hit. You know, so why not give you this, give yourself the edge? But uh, like I said before, Dallas is 12th in points allowed. To the forward, it goes to 12 still. Center is ninth. She plays a little bit of both, four and five. Uh, we've been cashing her. Four out of the last five, she's doing all of this. Averaging 18 points the last five games. The line's at 15 and a half right now. She's exceeded 15 and a half points for the last five games on the road and averaging a little over 16. Uh, for the year, she's a little under 50% for this. Last 20, 55%. Her uh, shot chart's looking good. Shooting 66% under the basket, 23% in paint. A little bit middies. Every once in a while, she'll chuck up a three. But uh, the way they defend is perfect for the way she's playing. Uh, the players that play like her over here to the right, it's an average point differential of 23%. It's all in the green. Basically means players that play like her, they've done well against this team. It's another decent site for, for little extra tidbits, uh, props madness. But, uh, yeah, so Aaliyah Boston points. Uh, she's a rebound in Beast 2. But uh, it's kind of high, 9.5 I think it's at. She probably will go over it, but points is best for me. Let's get it.
All right, last up for now, I got uh, Kelsey Mitchell points over 17 and a half. Minus 120 on FanDuel, DraftKings. Uh, that was 12th overall in points, 10th to the guard position. She had uh, she had gotten benched in this game, in this game too. She, she was having a little rough patch. No, I'm lying. I think it was before those games. But uh, she cleared this three out of the last, out of the last five. Yeah, it was before those games. Uh, last five games, she's shooting 46% from the field, averaging 17 attempts, plenty of shots. Uh, three points, she's taking a little over eight. She's hitting about three of them at 30%. Good foul shot. Uh, a couple attempts a game, shooting 83%. Head to head, sixty-seven percent. These are all last year, so none of that. I don't really go by that. Uh, these are the games over here. She got benched, and then she worked her way out of it. She's back. She's back in action. She's playing good. Uh, it's going to be a fast-paced game, running up and down. Uh, the way I broke it down is they're going to play like they normally do. Uh, Clark's going to be feeding uh, Boston. That's how Boston's going to go over her points. That's how Clark's going to get her assist. As well as Clark's going to get her 15 to 20, 18. And uh, Kelsey Mitchell, she can do ISO. She can shoot the three. Uh, she cuts, back cuts, all that. So they're the three main scorers. Uh, I'm kind of figuring out this WNBA stuff. Since NBA ended the first, like, week or two, I was a little rough. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. But, uh, I'm figuring it out, getting there, doing pretty well. But, uh, yeah, Kelsey Mitchell points, 17 and a half. Uh, shot selection. Let's do that. Let's see where she's at. I'm sorry. And minus 1% point differential. Hit rate 57% for players. If that makes sense. It's because some of them Atkins. So, yeah, that's why. On the Mystics, the guard, she does horrible sometimes. It threw the whole, the whole percentages off. But uh, Mitchell shooting 31% under the basket. 9 in the paint. 12% shots come from in the midi. 42 shoots all over. Shoots the ball well. And the way they play defense is right up her alley. So, she have no problem. It's going to be a fast paced game. Uh, plenty of fast break points, ISOs. Should be good to go. She probably hit three threes. I'm not worried about it. These four plays should easily cash. Alright, uh, it's one o'clock in the <clears throat> one o'clock in the morning right now. To uh, Wednesday morning, Tuesday night. So uh, the other lines still are now for the first game for the props. So whatever I do find, I probably find some rebounds for uh, for Dream. It's a team they're going against. Isn't that good at rebounding? But uh, put a little storyline, whatever. How I've been doing it. Uh, I appreciate everyone. Like I said, if you could, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get that money. Need some money to name, getting paper to game. Let's go. Let's have another good day. Let's keep it up.